The following information is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. The views expressed do not reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result. The last time you saw this guy, he and I revolutionized his health. Now we're going to show you the results. It's Keith Johnson, and he's about to give you a health awakening. Welcome to The Health Awakening, I'm Scott Laird. Okay, you saw this guy last time, he revolutionized his health. Today, we're gonna show you the results and how he did it. Please welcome Keith Johnson. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Scott. Thank you for coming back. I'm I, so excited to do this yeah, show. You know, you know, I really am excited too, especially, if I'm, I, I'm looking at this camera, these are the people that are looking here, is this yes, my sir. camera yeah, right but, here? I'm doing this for you. I, I, I love Laird of Wellness, I love what you guys are doing here, but there's a lot of people that struggle like I have struggled, and it's deeply personal. Mm. And so I kind of came up with uh, something I think that will help us regarding how it became de deeply personal and how we can share those results with people and hopefully it will bless them the way it's blessed me. Okay, and I think we're calling this your straight A's. In my <laughs> mind, Keith, I brag about you all the time. You get straight A's yeah. and we're going to talk about this, assessment, accountability, all kinds yeah, of things we're going to talk about in a minute. Yeah. But uh, you, you get those straight A's because you put in 110%. Look, yeah. I taught you all kinds of things with, with our Laird Wellness Program, yeah. but you took it and you ran with it, literally, and yes. <laughs> yeah, rode right. your bike. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. But but that's why you did so well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you can learn all this stuff, but you've got to do it. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I, and again, I, I told you this. Um, I, this has not been something that I would have said that I would have enjoyed if you talked to me about it a few years ago. What I love about this program is it got me to the place where I actually enjoyed. I can't believe I'm saying this. I actually enjoyed getting healthy. It wasn't mm. the way that I've always experienced it in the past. And so the first thing that we did, as I, I say, it's the assessment. Mm -hmm. And the assessment for us included not only going through the process, you know, people, you know, there's a free consult that people can do with yep. you. And if they decide to, they, they go to get the uh, blood test. But one of the things that we did once we started the process is that I did an assessment in our house. And we went into the pantry of taking all this stuff and putting it on the table uh, where I just looked at all, this, all the things that were in our house. And I said, you know, that's a part of the process. The process is kind of assessing where we are, where I was at at that time. And it... I got to be honest with you. I was, I was, um, I was shocked <laughs> at what was in my house. <laughs> well, and that's because when, when you did, did our program. Now, first of all, it's a free consult. And yes. people say, oh, come on, there's some kind of catch. No, listen, I'll spend half an hour with people, like, mm -hmm. like I did with you, right? And mm -hmm. say, here's everything I know what to do with your situation. Mm -hmm. If you want to stop here, that's fine. But if you want to do a blood test, we can do that. And yes. then you decided to do a whole program. Yeah. And, and in that program, we give you videos. And the first video was how to read a food label. Yeah. And I think that's <laughs> yes, where things right. started, the rubber started to hit the road. And I have to tell you, um, like I said, what I, I love about uh, our situation in our household is it, it, you know, it was a process. It was a process. Looking in the refrigerator, looking in the pantry, finding out what was in my own house that I was going to have to deal with uh, was, was, wasn't, wasn't an easy process, but it was important. But then we moved into uh, what we call that word that people don't like, but I think was a blessing of blessings, which is the word accountability. Mm. So first we assessed and then it's accountability. Like I'm a preacher, you know, you know, like three points. We got five points. <laughs> Assessment first, <laughs> but accountability. And I actually had three things that were accountability for me. The first one, which was the key, was your willingness to actually track with me, um, to actually be a part of the process with me, where we met every week. We went through a process. You had a wonderful system where you would ask me, how did this go? How did that go? How did this go? And why did that work? Because you said, listen, I'm going to give you a couple of other accountability partners in your house. And I got to show these again. How many different things do I get? I think there's 10. Oh, at least 10. We will only keep track of 10, some of them because there's so many of them. 10 different markers. Now, this time I'm going to get personal. I'm actually going to show you where I was at on the day we started, November 6th or 7th of 2022. Mm -hmm. These are my numbers. This is my weight. Here's where I'm dealing with protein. Here's what I'm doing with BMR. Here's what I'm dealing with my, my, my water. All of these things here. And then I want to show them what happened on May 30th. Now, 
here's where we're at. And and it's <laughs> for me. Look at that. Oh, I get kind of excited <laughs> because this is this is accountability. The accountability is that, you know, I don't every day focus on weight. Weight is yeah. not the most important thing. Health is what's important. And what I love about the program is we're trying to get healthy. Now, the weight, it does what it's going to do. There's ups and downs, but we don't focus on that. You know, and the other thing is the other accountability partner is this little keto mojo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, for me, this is key because I uh, had a really unfortunate thing happen in 2022. Uh, my doctor told me that after being pre-diabetic for uh, several years, all of a sudden my numbers went through the roof to 9.9. 9.9 A1C. A1C from my doctor. You are pre-diabetic. They sent me to the specialist. Well, oh, that's deep into diabetes. The, the, the specialist said, you will not reverse it. And I said, okay. One year later, here's my results, 4.9. And how did that happen? Keto Mojo, Renfo, and my friend Scott, <laughs> my accountability partners, we were able to really dive in and to find out what was going on with my body. And I think they say one out of every three Americans are dealing with prediabetes. The clock clicks at some point and it switches to that other number. That's what happened to me. That was my wake up call. Hopefully for other people, you don't have to get to that place. Mm -hmm. Like you said, if I'd have met well, you before. <laughs> and mainstream medicine waits too long. Yeah, waits they, too long. Because they're, they're reference intervals that your doctor said, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. If, if I had seen you in, in between those times, yes. I would have said, no, let's start now. Yes. So, you know, that's just it. There's this whole yes. trickery going on out there that yes. you, you're you not fine yeah. be, because the reference intervals are not based on good health. Yes. So we're going to come back and talk about uh, action and yeah. how you did this. So let's come back in a second. So. Thank you for joining us. You're seeing Keith Johnson on The Health Awakening. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. And welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking about Keith Johnson, about how we saw some of your results already. That was exciting to me enough, that 9.9 yeah. .9 to 4.9. Yeah, yeah. You literally cut your A1C in half. Yeah. I bragged to everyone about that because <laughs> that's amazing. You no, know, my doctor actually said this to me. When he, when he first sent me this, I mean, I was in shock. I cried. I was like, no, you got to be kidding me. My family history is caught up to me. What am I going to do? Uh, he sent me to a, a specialist that was going to take me through all the drugs I'm supposed to take. I've talked about it before. And uh, this person said, you can't reverse it. It's not, you know, just accept it. He said, you can't reverse she it. She told me you cannot reverse it. And I said, uh, okay, we'll see about that. But the point is, is that, um, you know, there's so many physical challenges, emotional challenges, that were all this. I know there's a lot of people that are watching that have these types of things or other types of things that really it would be easy for you to get overwhelmed and discouraged and just say, it can't happen. Again, what happened was you helped me take a different approach. Let's look at the inside first rather than the external thing. And the inside we built from there. So the, the, the assessment, the accountability, but then we get to the action, which I got to tell you, I, um, was the most exciting thing <laughs> that happened. I could, well, and, you know, and when you take action, yes. it's uh, maybe not everybody in the household yes. is on board, yeah. right? Maybe it's only one spouse that wants yeah. to do it. And that's where the accountability is important too, because yes. you and I met by Zoom every week and mm. I do that with everybody. Yep. Uh, it's, it's literally yep. me and, and whoever's on the other yep. side of the screen. But sometimes their spouse doesn't want to come along. And so I'm the only you know, anchor they've got. Right. And they, so right. that's why that's so important as well. Yeah. But eventually the spouse always comes along and yeah. we see quite often yeah. that they have the same stuff going on. They never, yeah. they never realize. And I think where I have to get, we have to get, we have to give grace for this is that they're not dealing maybe with the same physical issues that you have, the same challenges, whether you're diabetic and they're not, I mean, maybe they can eat certain things and their body doesn't respond that way. So for me, it was a very serious situation. We had to get into that. And so I, I basically added a number of things. One is I love riding my bike and it got to the point Scott, where I would enjoy it so much, I'd actually take like videos. I'm not, not supposed to do this too much, but I got, I got a little holder, you know, where I'm yeah. riding my bike and I could watch or listen to something or a podcast. I love walking. So I walk, you know, and then of course, having my accountability partners, these guys let me know exactly how I'm doing. Am I drinking enough water? What's my heart rate? How am I doing in terms of my glucose? Like all of those things together, when it all works together, it helps the action be enjoyable. Yeah. So when I was got, when I, and then there's this amazing thing called ketosis. I call it ketosis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where, where a part of my body wants to burn fat, wants mm -hmm. to, you know, get rid of the glucose. I got to the place, I, I, maybe we can show this, where literally I got into the highest therapeutic level 
of ketosis. Now, and, and you it had, lasted for a while, but it was a challenge. And you had to fight to oh, get there. Oh my goodness. Now, not everybody needs to get into yeah, ketosis, or ketosis. Ketosis, that yeah. yeah. Because that's not everybody's challenge, but right. for you it was. Yeah. And so that's what we worked on. Now, I remember we went through a one day fast and then a two day fast doing just bone yeah, broth yeah. to try and reset your body and nothing would click. And you said to me, could I try five days? Would yeah. that be okay? <laughs> I said, go for it. And you were, so you were like no, nowhere near ketosis. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Pow, yeah. just like you said, but and it snapped. You were so patient. I don't, it's a little embarrassing. Those that are, it's embarrassing to have someone look at your numbers and look at your weight and look at your, and, but what I love about what you did, Scott, is you took the information and said, okay, let's do this. Let's try that. Let's do this. Do you know I had what's called fatty liver for years, mm. fatty liver. My doctor says to me, Keith, you no longer have fatty liver. Why? The process that we went through was to get the internal part of my body up and running. And then guess what? Like I said, the action, the running, I'm not, not running, I should say the walking, Yeah. which, but, but by the way, when you're walking an hour or running 20 minutes, you're still burning the same amount. I mean, it's, it's and amazing. It, but it wasn't crazy hard. No, was it? it wasn't crazy hard. I mean, riding my bike, I, I couldn't stop hours. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was, it actually became fun. And I want to tell people that, that is that when you start getting the body in the place that it wants to be, where it wants to burn fat, you know, fat, as a fuel is a whole lot cleaner mm -hmm. than glucose. Glucose is quick, but fat, as you're going like this, I mean, I, I was burning clean. Yep. I mean, it, it yes. was just amazing. Because, yeah, that's the first thing we teach. Well, all these videos, you mentioned one already, right? Yeah. And one of those is that your body has two sources of fuel, fat and sugar. Yeah. And one of them burns a lot dirtier than the other. Exactly. And we need to sort of retrain the body retrain to burn the, body. the other one. Yeah. I love what your doctor said though. That the, the one where he, you went in and he said, it's as if. He said to me, if I wasn't your doctor and you came in with the readings of where you're at right now, it's as if you never had diabetes. It's as if you wow. never had it. But now here's the challenge. The, 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 the one specialist said, you'll never reverse it. I did reverse it, but guess what? It can reverse on me. If I decide all of a sudden- This is true. I don't wanna take the serious approach to my body and my health and the struggles, then guess what? You know, Six months from now, I'm on here talking to you and saying, yeah, yeah, it didn't work. But this is the beauty of the program. We get to the place where the body wants mm -hmm. to be healthy. You know, the beautiful thing about that is that this is what we call epigenetics. So even if you have a genetic weakness toward diabetes or colon cancer in my case or whatever, because my parents had it, it doesn't mean you have to give in to that. I tell everybody, it's like putting a grenade in the corner of your living room, but not pulling the pin. Hey, hey. If you never pull the pin, <laughs> is it really a threat? Yeah. Well, it's always there, yeah. but you have to work at it to make sure that pin never gets pulled, mm -hmm. right? And so, yes, you can do things with your diet and lifestyle. Diet and lifestyle control genetic experience. Expression. That's something I really wish people would really ingrain in their minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, we're going to talk about um, the next two A's, which, <laughs> which, which is a little, little, a little uh, what I would say, a little bit touchy, but it's real. Um, and what I love about, again, this whole process is that we're in a process. We got one more step after this. This is, this is step two. There's three steps for a year. Yeah, we're going to have We started again. at this time last year. I said, Scott, what do I do? Keith, we're going to have to look at your blood. We did the blood test. For those months, I adjusted, got my body ready by November. I started the program. Once I started the program, that took me all the way until the end of May. And then something happened <laughs> that changes the game, <laughs> but it's still a part of the A's. <laughs> and you still got straight A's regardless. Yes. So we'll, okay, so we're going to come back to that. All right, you are watching Keith Johnson on The Health Awakening. We're going to find out what happened and how he continued his straight A's coming up in just a second. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking with our guest, Keith Johnson, about how if you don't stay on top of things, uh, you know, things can come back on you. Yeah. Like, for example, people can be what's called leptin resistant. That's where it's a hormone in your brain, but at a certain point, uh, it won't listen to the signal that tells you to stop eating. So some people literally can't stop eating because the brain won't tell them to. So mm -hmm. that, that's called leptin resistance. Mm -hmm. The fortunate thing is all they have to do is eat better foods and all of a sudden that signal comes back on. Mm -hmm. But if they stop, it goes right back again, just exactly what you were talking about. And you know, it's funny, that leads exactly into the next two A's because, uh, you know, it's been a heavyweight fight for me. I mean, it's me and my body, we've had a, we've had a fight. And sometimes it, it, it wins. I mean, it hits me in the yeah. head and <laughs> I hit it back. <laughs> but um, the next two A's really have to do with what I call stuff happens. You uh -huh. might use a different S word, but stuff <laughs> 
happens. And so on May 30th, I got to tell you, I'm happy. Look, we looked at my results. I'm lower weight than I've ever been. I've got everything in place. I'm a, my metabolic age is to the age that I'm at. I started at 66. Yeah, according to the scale, which measures that. 66. Yeah. And my wife's like, well, what is this thing about? Sure enough, it's now to the real age of 45. You, <laughs> 63. But you can anti-age. Anti-age. You actually can anti-age. But then there's this word that is called acceptance, that stuff happens. People have changes and challenges and struggles in their life. For me, what happened is May 31st, I'm on my bicycle, riding my bike. I had done 31 days of movement. Somehow, I walk on Sabbath, I ride my bike, I do all these wonderful things, I'm feeling great, I'm the lowest weight that I've been, and all of a sudden I'm on my bike and a squirrel jumps out in front of my bike and goes, bleh, <laughs> and I hit the deck. My hand goes like this and I end up in the emergency room. I got on my bike, rode home, my bleeding, yeah, dislocated my finger, had to pop it back in twice. Ow. My thumb Ugh. came off the knuckle. I'm in the emergency room. They give me four shots. They say, you're going to need surgery. I said, no, I got no surgery. I'm in ketosis. I can't have surgery. <laughs> Went and met with the surgeon. You're going to have surgery. And guess what? You can't ride your bike. You can't do that. I had a cast. I couldn't even go for a walk because if I got sweat in there, and this was the point of acceptance, that stuff happens. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, what's this going to mean for my health? The most amazing and beautiful thing happened. My body had gotten to a place where it was like, okay, we know stuff happens, but you can still stay balanced. And literally for two months, I was bouncing off the walls, not able mm. to do the things I wanted to do. Couldn't go swimming, couldn't go ride my bike. And this is a person who had gotten to the point where I'm enjoying it and I got stopped. So the A is acceptance, and then the other A is adjustment. How do we adjust? I mean, don't you like these A's? I mean, come on. First of all, uh, assessment, accountability, action, acceptance, that stuff happens, and adjustment. And again, that's the beauty of the program, because if I know how my body's working, I can start making those adjustments, and I made them. For two months, I had to make adjustments, Scott, you know, I wasn't every day having to check this and check that. I could, I could get on there if I wanted to, but I knew there was going to be shifts. I knew there were going to be changes. But the beautiful thing is my body um, was able to stay pretty much in the place I needed to be and just make decisions according to what I can do, not what I wanted to do. Right. And so what some people do, rightly so, something happens, their job changes, their relationship changes, their body changes, and they give up. And I, I, it was a couple days. I mean, I was going to call you and say, Scott, what am I going to do? And it, the word adjustment was yep. key. How do we do that? Mm -hmm. And I remember you calling me, and we, we did make a few minor yes. adjustments to yes. a few things. Yeah. But, I mean, that's all it took because you had the drive to just keep going. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's a key to it, too, is that when stuff happens, we need to be able just to roll with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you learned in this whole process, yeah. right? And that's what we did was we trained yes. your body to burn both types of fuel yeah. and that so that you can... The grandkids call and they want you to go to and, and yeah. have a piece of birthday cake. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. This is about continuing this on to real life and living real life while taking care of yourself in a different way. And it's so funny. So step three is going to be how we get to the rewiring and, and the rhythm. Mm. The rhythm of life. You know, what I say about you, Scott, is you are a guy who learned to dance <laughs> in health. I mean, I never see you. You always look around about the same. You found your rhythm for health, and that's what I'm trying to find. It's gonna, I'm only at the six month mark. My goal is to come back at the end of this year and to show how we find the rhythm. And, and, and I will tell you, I'm just now getting there. It's beautiful, we've got family and friends who are like, oh yeah, he can't eat this, but he can eat that. Oh yeah, he doesn't eat this, but he can eat that. Mm. I, gotta, I gotta give a shout out. I don't know if I've got a minute to say, can I have a shout out? Please do. One of the great, great support BFA folks, Karen Baynard and her husband, Tim, they both went through the process. They did. And BFA mm -hmm. said, look, let's all get healthy. But one of the things that she has done that has been an absolute blessing is she's found alternatives that don't raise the glucose. And I mean, these are delicious. <laughs> these are ah. delicious things. My wife has come to the table and said, hey, can you eat this? Well, you can't eat this. Let's try this. And she's reading packages and figuring out. And it, and it really has become a really amazing uh, picture of love and support. And I think people want to support us in our journey of health. It is 
life-changing. I can't wait for the next show. I can't wait for the next show. You're doing so wonderfully. I'm just so proud of you. Like yeah. I said, I brag to, you, uh, to everyone yeah. about you. You're just doing such a wonderful job. Well, thank you, sir. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about this. So thank you for joining us. You are seeing Keith Johnson. He did our program on LairdWellness.com. There's the information at the bottom of your screen. We're going to talk a little bit more, so come back and we'll see you in just a second. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. You are looking at a guy who got straight A's in my book. <laughs> Keith, you gave 110% and yeah. therefore you got the results you wanted. So yeah. congrats. Well, the reason is, is that I was uh, getting straight F's in terms of how I was <laughs> taking care of myself. And you know, we get, to, we get so busy. I have gotten so busy. I got so, you know, God really needs me to do this and he needs me to do that. And you know, no, I need you to be healthy. And he needs us to be healthy. We need to be in a place where we can do what we need to do based on our circumstances and situations. And I think health is going to be a key to that. Well, forward. that's why we're doing this. And that's why you did this is because that's, Yehovah has put this on my heart that look, Times are coming where we, yeah. may, we may not have access to all yeah. the things we have now in the health space and the medical space. Mm -hmm. We gotta get healthy now. At least find out what we're up against and start to make changes. I wanna say to people that for those who really wanna go all the way in, what I love about what you offer, Scott, is that you don't push it. You're not trying to sell everything, but you're offering the opportunity for those that are willing. And I know there are some people that are saying, you know, I just assume not know. I don't wanna know what's going on inside of my body. Well, that's unfortunate because you can't do anything unless you know what it is that you got to deal with. And that's the beauty of this program. Here's what it is. Here's how we fix it. Here's how it makes a change. Here's how your life changes. And my life has changed on so many different levels, but it all started with one simple thing. Scott, what are we going to do? We're going to start with the blood. All right. <laughs> yes, and we're going to come back and talk about rhythm next time. We're, yes. This story's not done. Oh, no, no, we got to get to the rhythm, so, man. That's so come dance. back and we'll, we'll see how you're doing uh, in the future here. Okay, so thank you for that very much, Keith. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us on The Health Awakening. We will see you next time. Thank you for joining us today on The Health Awakening. You can catch the replay of this episode and see our complete show archive at healthawakening.tv. For more information about our guests today and all they have to offer, please visit their website on the bottom of your screen. And please remember, the information you saw today is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice, nor do the views expressed reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result.